we can do lots of things to raise our experience of immune health while we lower our incident or the prevention, we can lower disease in our lives by using germ theory. So they don't have to be one or the other. It's not throwing one out to go, only go with the other. These two can work synergistically very, very well together. Hey folks, welcome back. I am really excited today. I, I've had some pieces to a puzzle that I've been working on for decades recently fall into place for me. What I want to do today is I want us to talk about paradigms. So what is a paradigm, first of all? A paradigm is how we think about things before we think about them, okay? In other words, paradigms are belief systems that filter the information that we are exposed to in some order for us to make sense out of the world, okay? So today what I want to do is I want to introduce you to two people out of history that have very strongly influenced the way we think about life and health and, and things like this. The first person is Louis Pasteur, okay? We all know Louis Pasteur. He's the father of microbiology, right? He is a major contributing factor to modern Western medical theory, okay? Louis Pasteur brought us vaccinations. He brought us pasteurization. His model is called the germ theory, okay? Now, we all know the germ theory. It's a major player in our paradigm. The germ theory is at work when, when we as parents, uh, for example, tell our kids to go wash their hands after going to the bathroom or after playing in a public area because we want to make sure that the kids don't bring germs into their systems. Okay, Taken to an extreme, it becomes a germ phobia, which Sandor Katz really puts nicely, the, the whole war on bacteria that, that our modern culture sometimes gets into. So. The hang-up with the germ theory, it has a lot of merits, first of all, and let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater here, but the hang-up is that it doesn't create any health. It prevents disease, and that's a major difference that I'm going to cover here in just a minute. So the second person that I want to talk about, we all know Louis Pasteur. Most of us don't know that Pasteur had a contemporary at the time named Antoine Beauchamp, who had a related but a different theory called the cellular theory. So let me tell you about what I recently read. I was recently reading David Gumpert's book, The Raw Milk Revolution, which is a really good book, by the way. Uh, in it, I found the best comparison of these two theories that I've found yet. Let's quickly cover a couple of important points on each theory and see what we can do to create greater health and, and vitality in our lives with this new information. So four things I want to point out about the germ theory. Number one, disease is caused by microorganisms that are outside the body right? The bacteria are out there, the germs are out there, and we've got to protect ourselves, right? Microorganisms are generally to be guarded against, number two. Number three, disease can strike anybody. It doesn't matter. We're victims, and, and does it, the disease, my microorganisms blow into our system, and then we've got it, and, and there's nothing we can do about it. And number four of the germ theory is to prevent disease, we have to build defenses. So Beauchamp's theory recognizes Pasteur's, Pasteur's discovery of bacteria and that some bacteria can cause disease. However, a major difference between the theories is what is of, of primary importance. Okay, let's check this out. Beauchamp says that microorganisms within the body become pathogenic or disease-causing as the health of the host, that's us, right, that's our bodies, as the health of the host deteriorates. Hence, the condition, the condition of the host is the primary cause of disease. That's a big, big difference. In other words, disease is built by unhealthy conditions within the body, right? And to prevent disease, we have to create health. So being all about solutions, I ask myself, how can I take these two theories and I put them together so that each of us out there can navigate to greater health and vitality in our lives? So let's take a look at these two theories, how they, how they interact. Um, the first thing we have to do is assess the health of our immune system. You know, how's our diet? What are we really doing to be able to support our dietary needs? The quality of exercise that we're getting, the quality of rest that we're getting, our, our general level of sugar intake. That I've been on a real witch hunt recently with sugar. Um, the level of fulfillment that we have. And as an overarching sense of, how shall I put this, of how healthy, where's our immune system? What's the level of joy we're experiencing every day? Are we really excited when we wake up like, yeah, baby, here's another day? Or is it like drudgery to, to get up and get going? So those all can give us feedback as to where our immunity is. So let's see how these theories interact here. Let's make sure I get it on the screen here. 
this is how I've seen these two theories come together. All right, on the bottom, we have our immune health. Okay, this is our immune health spectrum from low immunity to really high immunity. Okay, on this side, we have the amount of intervention it takes. And then we have, on the blue line, we have Beauchamp's cellular theory. And what I've put here is create health to remind us. That's what it's all about. And then the red line, we have Pasteur's germ theory, which is to prevent disease. All right. So let's take a couple of examples here. We first have to find out where we are in this immune health and, and just be honest with ourselves to see you know, what we can do to be able to bring ourselves up on this create health line. Let me give you two examples. One example, a buddy of mine um, several years ago had a heart transplant, okay, he had an organ transplant. Big, big deal. Major, huge thing for modern medicine to be able to pull off something like that, all right? I never realized this, but in order to do a heart transplant or an organ transplant, he has to take uh, pharmaceutical medications to suppress his immune system or else his own immune system will reject the, the heart transplant, right? So that means that his immune health is way, way low because he's taking medication to, to destroy his immune system, essentially. So in that case, if he's way down here, he's going to need a lot of Pasteur's interventions to stay healthy. Or to, how should we say, because it's not really staying healthy, but to prevent disease. Right? And he definitely can take steps along Beauchamp's line as far as the quality of diet that he's eating, the moderate exercise, quality of rest that he's getting, all these different qualities that support our building of health in our bodies, he can definitely move up this immune health, in which case his need to prevent disease with germ theory modalities would be less, right? Let's take another example, okay? My buddy and, and mentor, Sean Croxton from Underground Wellness. Hey, if y'all don't know him, by all means, check him out. His, he's got great information out there. Okay, Sean, I'm going to guess, is going to be way up here on the immune health scale, right? He does a real good job. He walks his talk, and he's really doing his work. So if he's way up here, first of all, he's putting a lot of time and attention into creating health, right? So the amount of intervention is very high on Beauchamp's cellular theory. And as a result, do you think Sean's rushing out to go get the new flu vaccine or whatever? No, no. He doesn't need to do a lot of germ theory intervention because of, of, again, of primary importance is the cellular theory. Okay, if you take the health of the organism first, then deal with preventing disease, that's the way you, that you really find optimal health and vitality in the long run, in my opinion. Okay, I'm not throwing away the Pasteur theory. There are places for it. Okay, so let's take a look at how this would work with our business Aura Wellness. Okay, Aura Wellness uses what we call the Aura Wellness brushing oil, which is um, it's a blend of essential oils that kill the bacteria very effectively that cause gum disease in the mouth. Okay, that's very much a prevent disease tool. All right, being that most of us are somewhere in the middle of this immune health, we can use germ theory tools like Aura Wellness brushing oil to kill the disease-causing bacteria in our mouth so that the, ba the bad bugs in our mouth don't continue to break down our health while we take steps to raise ourselves on this, this uh, Beauchamp's Create Health Pathway. So I just wanted to, I had a revelation as far as realizing this chart. It makes a lot of sense to me. I'll bring this up again as it fleshes out more in my mind, but I just want to share it with you that we can do lots of things to raise our experience of immune health while we lower our incident or the prevention. We can lower disease in our lives by using germ theory. So they don't have to be one or the other. It's not throwing one out to only go with the other. These two can work synergistically very, very well together. So that's, that's the road that I wanted to throw you all. I hope this helps you. Um, by all means, holler with any questions. I'm really excited about this, this new you know, the piece to this puzzle that finally came together for me over decades of, of living this wellness lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching. Holler with any questions. I'm here to help. Thank you.